<laughs> Hold on. All right. Struggled a little bit there. Is that the lights? Not right somehow now. What does it look like there? I haven't watched that before. I still don't have to answer. All right. Damn, I'm struggling here. I dropped the camera a couple of times. Stumbled through this lot clumsy and my words and didn't realize the camera wouldn't run. So I'll check it again. All right, let's do a simple one. I'd have to say the same shit over again. I ain't good at that. I'll just I'm gonna say new stuff. Um, I haven't been picking much. Been mainly focused on making lock uh, lock picks. Um, I'm still forth path. Um. And I guess I've been working on challenge like a little bit. Uh, I've got one, the special one coming up. It's by special I mean it's weird. And I have one weird one y'all saw in my last video probably. I'm getting ready to mail it. It's an easy one. I didn't have the only other stock lock I had laying around was the the multi lock. And y'all don't want to watch an hour long video. But working on picks. Working on weird stuff as usual. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Hillbilly rake is the longest rake. You remember that. I got uh, bypass tools coming up. Uh, different knives. Um, the, right there. It looks suspiciously like my devil lock. Got some new music wire today to mess with. Yeah. What else we got in there? There's a one that's going to a buddy of mine down south, making their lot for him too. I think we show it as a surprise, surprise element to it. Anyway, I'm trying out some new woods and stuff, the resins. These are ugly, but none of this is ready. It was something like there was something else. I'll get it in the next video. I'm going to do a BLOCA coat on this one, if this one works. Stay tuned. Let's see where we can. I gotta get this about. All right, I think I'll probably get sick of that in the video. All right, I'm gonna do a BLO CA coat. It's uh, boiled linseed oil. That's the BLO, and the uh, CA is your Sino Acrylate Super Glue. It was Wes that got me into these. Um, I watched his video. And that's why I started using activators, different kinds. I've gone through every one I can come up with around here and I've ordered some. I love the aerosol the best. It's a Hobby Lobby stuff here. Um, I've done it without accelerator, just letting it dry. It takes forever, but you can do it. Uh, and I've gotten better at it. One thing I hate about it is sanding. And that's why I love this so much. It seems like I don't have to sand as much and I can do it quicker. And it turns out pretty. I'm not going to make you watch me sand it because it still takes long enough to be boring. That could be another video with music playing on fast forward or something. It's all right. Linseed oil. Get me some paper towels. I think I'm not even in the picture. Um, I'll put it down a little bit. I think I've seen this on a pen turner or something similar to this. I've changed it a little bit fit exactly what I needed. Pen turners. I never even knew they were a thing until I started making pics. And now I'm on oh, groups and Facebooks. I watch the, everything new that comes out with them. Alright, it should be neater. Um, I'm going to use thick. If you do these, if you know anything about them, most people use thin. And that's just what I have here. You can use thicker stuff with this linseed oil because uh, uh, you're wiping a lot of it off and it goes quicker too because you're getting more on per coat if you use this with the spray accelerator you end up with a big mess usually or I always did alright so get that on there good soak it in not quite like you would do a linseed oil finish you don't put that much on it there you just soak it and let it soak up as much as it wants for about a half hour and then come back and uh, 
you wipe off the excess. I'm actually getting close to it. You want to have, when you do this, just to keep clean some acetone on a rag. I always do. Whenever you super glue. And also, you, you're going to want this because you, if you're anything at all like me, I hope you're not. I think regular people do it too. You're going to glue your fingers together. And that stuff takes it off in about 30 seconds. I mean, I glue my fingers not only together, but to the work, to, it gets bad. And I'm botched just a little bit. What you want to do, I want to have me a clean spot up top. And you can put the glue, put your big amount up here. You can put it right on the work too. It might end up doing that. We'll see what works better. But see, that's a big glob. And that's, that's thick stuff. I've never done a round one. Um, so let's see here. So I get it on there. Rub it. You want to go fast. And come over to the linseed oil. Fast. I know it seems like you're wiping a lot off, but trust me, you're still getting a lot on there. I don't know if you can see it steaming. Oh, we got the eye. Um, when it reacts, it puts off a stingy cloud of eye burning. You just uh, and see, that's already... That's as fast as the spray on the uh, accelerators. So then I'll put, I'll try it right on the, right on the thing this time. All right, that's a lot again. All right, so I'll take it fast. You feel a little drag from it, get in the linseed oil and go smooth up, slick. There's a plumbing leak going on right above me. Well, there it is again. If you're real safety conscious, you might want to do uh, some kind of fan ventilation or glasses or something. Uh, I don't know if you guys are starting to see that yet, but I think put another coat on there. That'd be three thick ones. Probably would go more, four, maybe even up to five. But uh, if you do, whenever I do thin stuff, I end up with, who knows? 10 or 12 of them sometimes. Mm. Let's see. Let's put a little more on there. Um, thicker, dry, slower too. You're actually less likely to glue your fingers together with it. I'll glue it to the drill press though. Alright, get it on there. Now, I need to find a way where you don't have to sand it all, but I haven't done that yet. I've tried ways to use electric tools to do it. I put some micro mesh pads on the, the polishing wheel or the dribble. I ended up messing up my micro mesh pads and my pizza I was working on. Well, see, I almost got it. See, another thing, when you use accelerator, that stuff will... Not only glue you together, it will stick. I don't know why we're not getting a good example of this. Looks like that might be a little bit rough looking. Still, it'll work. So we get that. It's all good and dry. Yeah, that's not. I shouldn't use that thick on here. I have used thick before. I get something else in there. What is that? What if I got some water dripping on me? Man, everything is a struggle today. There's thingy eye again. Let's see what we can do here. Put a little bit on there and do this. That's actually extra thick too, so maybe I haven't used extra thick yet, but we will. Ooh. Safety stuff. They say Lindsay Dole prone to spontaneous combustion. Well, I've never seen any evidence of spontaneous combustion, and I've done some weird stuff. Um, didn't know it exists, so you want to put these somewhere, I don't know, what, a metal can or something? I thought I'm in the middle of the floor and stomp on them as I walk back and forth. It seems to, so far I hadn't started a fire. That's kind of a shit example there. 
because it is bubbly. Usually I can get it a lot smoother than that. Maybe let's try something. Last time. I'll go get another super glue. And we'll do come around. Um then you'll go do your See that's about what I normally would get with the spray on. Spray right my drink. My spray one's empty. I should have prepared for this. A little stickiness. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's about as good as they used to do. Well, try it. And then you'll go through, I guess start with something like 400, 600, then like 1200, 1500, then jump up to 25, 3000, and then hit your micro meshes. I don't, uh, I used to go through every med every different grid I could find. I'm talking about going from 320 to 400, 500, 600, 800. Like I went through all of them. Um, now, uh, that's another thing I got from, from Wes. Is, you can skip a few grits to get the job done good. Then if you want to, you can polish them and really make them shiny, but let's see if I got an example of something up here. I don't have anything up here right now. But we'll see how it looks in the video. That right there will be, I'll put a picture at the end of it until it finished up. So you don't have to watch the sand. And... Thank you. All right, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, I hit it like just a couple minutes with um, some, uh, what was it? I think uh, 1,200 and then 3,000. And once you get that shine there, uh, you can tell it's a little rough steel. So you probably would want to start with 400. But go, that wouldn't take much longer. And then you hit your micro meshes and uh, polish it and then that thing will be, that thing will be fine. One thing I like about it is you don't have to, like um, let's say this one here was a resin pick. I uh, had to, oh, hey, that's the one I messed up with. I tried to use the micro mesh on the Dremel. But the, it gets real hazy as you shape it with a grinder or with a sander into a, how you like it. And you have to polish the resin to get it to be shiny like it was. It's a long, well, you know, fairly long process. But you don't have to if you want to do a CA finish. That right there was, uh, you've seen how it was. It, uh, when you put it on there, it gets you it active. I don't know what it does. Magic happens. And you shine that up, the super glue up, and the magically the epoxy underneath it's shine as uh, looks the way it does too. You can see all the this mica in this one, you can see all the little the shimmerings and the happy stuff that goes on in there. Alright, that's it. I love BLOCA. Much better than accelerated CA and a whole lot better than just non-accelerated CA. Thank you.